then I had to sit and really think about what is going on in my life. I felt the weight of the world for me to do great. Hey, what's up, 1428 family? It's Dondre Brown, here to bring you more information to help you invest in your family, your finances, and your future. So again, it's the new year, and I know a lot of you are trying to win in the stock market and also learn about the process so that you can also profit. Um, I put out a video that talked about the top three, the three things that I learned as a beginning investor. Take a look at that video if you're a beginning investor. Those are my serious experiences that I've had over the last year. Again, this channel is all about being transparent. Speaking of the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you don't miss another video, as well as follow me on social media. But let's get back to the video. So some of the things that I really want to continue to bring to the channel is education, right? It's not enough just to make predictions. Sometimes people make assumptions, like whatever it is when we're talking about the stock market. Let's continue to learn about the stock market in that process so that we can have less risk, less mistakes, right? Some of us in this channel and also in the comments have made a lot of mistakes and um, risk just because we didn't know what we didn't know, right? We were playing around with money, throwing it in the stock market, hoping things went well, and we were taking L's, right? This channel is gonna help you eliminate some of those L's by bringing some of those things that um, is really helpful when you're investing in the stock market. So I ask you this, and throw it in the comment section. How much do you know about support and resistance lines? How important is that information, right? I remember when I first started investing, I didn't know anything about a support line, a resistant line, trend line. I didn't know what that was, nor did I care. But as I'm continuously investing, those things are becoming very important. Throw in the comment section, why are support and resistance lines important? What do those mean, right? So again, throw it in the comment section. We're gonna continue to jump in the video and then um, I'll talk about why those things are important. So what I wanna do is before I switch over to um, a channel that I had found that talked about support and resistance lines, and again, this channel isn't only about me talking, right? I do research, I wanna learn more, and there are people out there that have the information, they uh, teach it in a way that's very understandable, so I wanna bring that to you. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to, um, his name is The Impeccable Investor. I'll leave his link at the bottom of the description, but he's gonna give a great description of support and resistance lines and why those are important for your entry, exits, as well as your profit margin. Let's check out his video. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Impeccable Investor here. And because of recent questions that I've got about support and resistance, I thought it'd be best to make a video over what is support, what is resistance, and how it can help you when trading and investing. So for the uh, for what we're doing here, uh, blue will mean support and pink reddish will mean resistance, all right? So support is where price tends to bottom out at. Now, what does that mean? It means where price of a stock tends to re reverse at. So what you can see here, so if I draw those blue line here indicating support, you, you can see here that when it hits this area of around $6.50, it tends to bounce back up to the upside. You can see here, bounce, bounce, bounce. And then this was a failed break of support, which we will discuss after we discuss support and resistance here. So this is known as support. Support is where a level is supporting the stock price. You can see here, it comes down, stock price gets supported, and then it gets pushed up. Price comes down, stock gets supported, and it comes back up. How do you identify these levels? It's really easy to you'll start to see a tendency of where a stock tends to bounce at. And when you see uh, it, ha it happening once, you know that this is a support level. When it happens twice, you know it's a super strong support level. So coming back down to this one, you would have known we've had support here because of not only one, not only two, but then we would have known that this is forming the third bounce. Um, so now let's go into what exactly resistance is. So if we go into resistance here, you can see that we tend to top out at this. So resistance is the opposite as support. So support is where a stock bounces. Well, resistance is going to be where a stock turns around at. If you can see here at this price level of $9, that's where the stock got re rejected the first time, you got rejected a second, third, fourth time, meaning that when price comes up here, it reverses, price comes up here, it reverses, price comes up here, and it reverses to the downside. So support and resistance are crucial to understanding where you should be buying and where you should be selling if you're looking at resistance. So as you can see here, if we go out a bit, um, I go on yellow here just to give you a better perspective. See, so this is our trading zone. We know that support and resistance gives us safe spots to buy at 
and gives and it gives us an indication of where we can end up selling these shares at so this is our profit margin all the way up here buying here and selling here that is our profit margin so if you want to lower your risk you want to buy closer to here because this is your risk however if you this is your profit so you want to make sure that you have more profit and less risk that's how this whole thing is set up so support and resistance basically just shows you where a price is going to bounce and where it's going to be supported at now how you use this as a trader is you're going to look at a way to uh to catch the bounce where you you want to catch it right right here wait for that reversal buy and go up now how to use this as an investor well two ways of using this one if you don't have a position in the stock yet well then you want to buy near these levels of support I discussed that in the last Sunday stock talk of the three top stocks to buy it's because they're coming down to their support it's gonna be the best area to buy so it's the same thing as an investor also if you already own shares as an investor and you're looking to add more to your position then you're gonna wait until it gets closer to these air areas because you know that's the best place the safest place to buy this stock at All right guys this is a simple understanding of support and resistance support being where more demand comes in for the stock aka bouncing and resistance is where more supply comes into the stock aka where it gets rejected All right guys this is understanding so i would honestly say the way that he explained it um very simple didn't take too much time but it, it continues to help me i don't know what it did for you understand why support and resistance are important those buy zones um that's extremely important what i've been doing is using trading view um, i'll put a link in there too it's called trading view so that i can look at those stocks and draw those support and resistance lines and then start to look at the best entry points for the stock we already know the lower you can buy it the earlier you can get in the better right it'll help you ride some of those waves where the stock starts to drop but also it helps you maximize that profit so when he was drawing from the support line to the resistance line um, he was showing you uh, how you can maximize your profit margin so the lower you buy toward the bottom right the support is holding it up the lower you buy there the more you can maximize the run up right so whenever they talk about the run up you literally increase your dollar amount as or increase your profit as the stock runs up so again hopefully that information was helpful for you it was really helpful for me it helps me look at um, different stock what i'm going to start to do is continue to look at these and make um, educated research predictions about um, great entry points um, I challenge you to uh, join me on that. Start looking at stocks using resistance lines, um, using um, support lines, and looking at how um, that education can help you maximize your money, right? As we continue to grow together, there's going to be less assumptions, more educated research um, options that we have. So again, if you like this channel, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with people. Again, we're growing on this channel, right? This is not a channel where, um, again, it's just gonna be me talking or me providing information. I wanna pull from other people, other people's experience, because that's how we do it on this channel. So again, hit the subscribe button, and if you like this video, you're gonna see me in the next one. Peace.